What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Nate here from Out of the Basement, bringing you another action figure review. Today, we are looking at Luke Skywalker, in parentheses, Jedi Master. This is the brand new Luke Skywalker figure, his look from the end of The Force Awakens. Finally, we got an old man Luke figure. You'd think they would have uh, put this one out when Force Awakens came out, but no, no. We had to wait for The Last Jedi to get his look from The Force Awakens. Uh, but all that aside, I was pretty excited for this figure. Glad to have the standard release, as you can see. Um, but as far as I can tell, there's absolutely no difference between this one and the SDCC exclusive, except for packaging. So let's take a look. This is in the new Black Series box with the higher artwork with Luke right there. I think the artwork looks awesome and the no top window. He is number 46 in the line. Here's Luke's brand new read up right there. If you want to pause it, go ahead, check that out. Pretty much standard fare otherwise for the Black Series box. We've got his name on the side there. So let's go ahead and get Luke out of the packaging. In terms of accessories, Luke only comes with one thing, and it is this cloth cape right here, which uh, looks good when you don't have it on the figure, but as we'll see when we get deeper into the review, I have just not been able to get this cape to look right. You have these big, ugly seams that really don't help the actual cloak rest on the figure. They do include these little strings right here to tie around the figure, which is a nice touch, but I feel like it's it's so hard because they're so small it's really hard to tie them accurately around him you sort of just have to get a loose grip uh, sort of around his neck but otherwise I think the cloak looks pretty good I think it probably could have been a shade or two darker it is sort of like a lighter khaki color and when you look at pictures of the force awakens I feel like his cloak is definitely a little darker brown uh, but yeah, that's it for accessories. Let's take a look at Luke himself. And here is the old man out of the packaging. Had to darken the brightness up a little bit so we could take a better look at him because he was blending in with the background. Uh, so you can see my nice little tablecloth there and all of its folds and stuff. But uh, I think Luke looks pretty good overall. I really enjoy the uh, detailed shading that they did in his hair. I think it looks pretty good. Certainly looks a lot better than when they tried to do Old Man Han Solo the first time, but uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at his paint apps here. We've got the nice gray hair. We've got little bits of white paint mixed throughout the gray. Um, I do wish we did have a little bit more of a paint variation within the beard because looking at pictures of Mark Hamill, he does still have brown in his, in his facial hair, so it would have been nice to get a little bit of brown instead of just gray and white making him look super old. Um, my uh, Luke kind of has a derp eye right there, but I was so excited to pick up a, a figure last night that I couldn't resist, and I figured I wasn't going to find another one of him, so I just, I, just bought, I just bit the bullet. But I don't really think it's that bad. Could be a lot worse. But uh, the face sculpt, though. I really like this face sculpt. I feel like with the right amount of paint apps from a, a customizer or something could really make this look exactly like Mark Hamill. I think the likeness already, though, is pretty good, especially for a $20 figure. Um, his robes, I think, look great. I like the white with the, with the gray, and the gray sort of has this textured look to it as well. Same thing with his belt, a nice silver belt buckle with a little pouch there. The brown looks pretty good, and then, oh, what, what is that? Is that a... Is that a hook for a lightsaber that you didn't come with, Luke, old boy? Um, I have a feeling that this figure... Uh, you can see where they missed some of the paint right there on his back. Um, I have a feeling that this figure is certainly going to get released with a re-released with a lightsaber or that new face printing sculpt. I'm not really sure why they just didn't apply that to all of these figures, but again, you can see the nice detail going back here with the white and the gray that has the nice texture on it. If we want to take a peek underneath the skirt, he just has gray legs with some bandages on there. Absolutely no paint underneath the figure, but if you're going to have him displayed with his cloak on and everything, you're not going to be paying attention to that anyways. So it's not really that big of a deal, in my opinion. As for articulation, his arms do go out that far. He has single-jointed elbows, but they're cut in the same way that uh, 
Qui-Gon's elbows were cut, so it's going to be easier for him to grip a lightsaber, presumably, with both of his hands. Anyways, moving on to the wrist, he does have a wrist hinge, and of course it swivels all the way around, just as you would expect it to. Um, his legs do move out just about that far. He does have double jointed knees that we can take a look at here. The articulation works perfectly, so if you want to get him in a cool uh, jumping pose, some some extended universe canon of him kicking ass as an old man, which I hope we'll see in the new movie, uh, he does have rotation at the thigh. It's pretty stiff there. Uh, and in terms of ankles, his ankle can move down that far, can move up pretty decently, and he does have ankle pivot, of course. Of course he has ankle pivot. Why on earth would he not have ankle pivot? It's 2017. <clears throat> DC Multiverse. Whoa. Yeah. Had a little bit of a cold there. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go run and get him a lightsaber, honestly. So a little bit of a just kidding moment, because, uh, well, if I would have checked the articulation on on his robot hand I don't know if it's like this for everyone but for me uh, it's stuck he does not want to have any swivel to it um, the hinge works fine but no swivel so it's really making it difficult for me to pose him with the lightsaber in both hands and the lightsaber hooks on neatly right there you can have him holding it hey, check me out Ray I got your lightsaber that's my lightsaber thank you for finding it for me Where's his green lightsaber? Seriously, why didn't he come with that? Final part of the review here, the cloak. This disaster of a cloak. It's just so hard to place on him to actually look good. Um, the hood is just, I feel like it is just a tad too big. And it just kind of looks gigantic. And there's not really any way to like get it to lay more like sort of like this. You know, just something where it's not like popping up so badly in the back. And again, the strings don't really help at all. They just kind of sit there. They'll pull it up for him, make him look nice and tidy. I don't even want to mess with it. I seriously spent so much time last night trying to get this hood to look decent. And like, like I said, it looks all right, but it just, it could have been better, especially with what they did with Obi-Wan earlier this year. I feel like that was a perfect robe, and now they're just back to doing whatever this is, whatever you want to call this robe. I just wish it was a little bit better, just a little bit better. But uh, anyways, what do you think about this figure, guys? What did you pick up on Force Friday? Did you get Thrawn? Did you get Hera? I had to lock my pre-orders down. Bucky was lucky enough to find Hera, which, if you haven't seen that review, I will link it in the description. It will be at the end screen of this video as well. Overall, I think Luke is a must for the collection, but you might you might want to just wait. You might want to wait for him to get a re-release uh, with a better face printing technology, perhaps more accessories. I know they're doing that Walmart exclusive where I believe he comes with some different hands. And the cloak might be a little different. I'm not too sure. I haven't looked too deep into that, but... Um, I would say if you needed him right now, obviously go out and get him. He looks awesome already. I think he's good enough as is. But chances are we'll see a big improvement of him soon. So if you liked this review, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below about Luke. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see our Force Friday vlog, it'll be on the end screen. Go ahead and check that out. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time on Out of the Basement. Mm -hmm.